Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm playing with a new deck here. Um, it's kind of written a little bit weird. It's a little bit choppy, um, but uh, I like it and I want to see what the Divine um, wants you to know today. This reading is for the Collective, so you could be any sign for Collective readings. If something pulled you in from the title, there's something in it for you. Um, but just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, um, everything. You guys are so awesome to me out here. Thank you so much for all of your support. I really do appreciate it. All right, so I'm just going to read these to you. This is what Spirit wants you to know today. Manifest your dreams. First card out, okay? Okay. <laughs> Firstly, release all negative thoughts that block your mind and limit your beliefs. Physical moves like walking or practicing yoga is either good before you visualize your goals and feel them with all senses. Okay, so um, maybe get outside, clear your energy. I feel like that's what this is. Release anything negative um, because when you manifest you want to you want to visualize yourself having what you already you already having what you want okay if you if you're trying to manifest with that negativity um it, that's what's going to be brought into your life okay so i feel like the first step is to clear that energy um clear your head clear your mind and just focus on the positive things that you want in your life okay like you already have them all right get rid of that negative energy be honest confrontation is needed in this situation be true to yourself get straight to the point from which <laughs> from which has led you to the current problem and solved it yeah there's a lot of typos in this deck but um figure out what it is that you need to let go of. I feel like a lot of you, this to me is like um, acceptance, okay? Um, and if something is bothering you, if you know that you um, haven't healed from something, you need to confront that thing. Um, especially when it comes to manifesting, like I said, any negative energy that you're still harboring uh, could get into your manifestations in the future, all right? So, yeah, this I feel like this is all about releasing here and bringing in the new. Getting rid of the old and bringing in the new, right? Make the most of it. Make use of your time and all resources. Look for more knowledge or appliance. Learn from the mistakes and also from others to build up your skills, more skills and confidence. Okay, so... Um, Notice things that are changing around you is really the feeling that I'm getting off of this card. Um, make sure you, you know, don't procrastinate on your goals. Make good use of that time, the time that's given to you. Because, like, you can manifest, but you also have to sort of meet the divine halfway, <laughs> right? Um, so let's say you're trying to manifest a new home, okay? Like, you want to buy a new house right? Don't put anything negative in it, like memories from old places where you've lived before that, you know, you got hurt in, you know, try to clear out that energy first and just think about the house you want. Dream big. That's great. But realize that, um, one, you need to make space for this new, for the new to come in. So you have to release the old. And two, you need to also put forth the effort towards that goal. So, like, the divine's not going to, you, you don't just ask the universe, you know, tell the universe, this is what I want, right? Um, and then it plops in your lap. Things need to be set up for you, and you also need to realize that you need to be patient. There's got, it's like there's got to be a balance between what the divine brings in for you and the effort that you put in. There's got to be a balance, right? Um, and there's... There's got to be a balance between rest time, getting outside, clearing your head, taking care of yourself, and putting forth the effort towards your goals. So I feel like this is about releasing, knowing how to manifest, clearing out the clutter, cleansing your energy, and putting, uh, putting your energy into what you need to, okay? 
Um, procrastination could also be a part of this. So like, you know, watch for the procrastinating, you know, I've been doing it too, just getting my rest, right? Um, but yeah, just be careful of how you, how you, all the effort that you have to put in to get, you know, to reach your goals, right? Be mindful of that. Yeah. All right. So the divine is trying to get you ready for the new stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here. They're trying to get you ready for the new stuff. And I feel like your um, your thoughts are being redirected towards new also. Okay. Yeah. This is like forward movement here. As you release and accept. So you can bring in the new. All right, Divine, what messages do you have for the collective today? Messages for the collective. I feel like I feel like a new person is coming in. Actually, you've got two people coming forward. So I feel like you're going to have to, you know, be honest. Be honest with yourself. What is it that you want? Be true to yourself. It says so right there. Okay, be true to yourself because I feel like you're going to have a decision to make. I'm seeing two people coming towards you here. One with an apology from your past and a new person here, a Knight of Cups. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, either one. They're both, it, it, both, two, both of these are water signs. Yeah, and I feel like one of these two are going to end up heartbroken. One of these two people is going to miss out on a blessing in love. Yeah, you got new love coming in. You're going to have to decide, make a decision, right? Make a clear decision of what you want now because I'm telling you that these, both of these, all of this fresh energy, new moving, fast moving energy, it's all coming in fast. So you've got two people clearly decide what it is that you want. And, you know, you could have even manifested both of these people. Say you're manifesting somebody new, right? And But you're still kind of brokenhearted over what happened in the past with this soulmate connection from your past. They're coming back in too. That's why I was telling you, you know, try to release those negative, the negative feelings, right? The thoughts. Um, because when you're manifesting, you're pulling into your life whatever it is that you're thinking about, whatever you're focused on. And now you've got two people coming towards you, so you're going to have to make a decision which one you want. Somebody's got to, um, and be honest. Honest communication is definitely needed here. So um, be honest with both people and make a decision, right? And someone's going to have to, yep, somebody's going to be cut out here, I feel. And it may even be the person from your past. Because of all that you've been through, I feel like you guys don't want to, you don't want to deal with heartache and betrayal anymore. I feel like that's what they did to you. They were focused on other things here. And when they were handed this blessing and love to begin with, they, they turned it away. They pushed it away. They didn't want it. And now this person from your past is thinking about you nonstop. Can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, see, they pushed you away when they, they should have defended you. And then they let that go on for so long. You've moved forward, collective. You're on your way out, but you still have some things that you need to heal from. Okay? Uh, because you did manifest both people back into your life. Well, the, a new person and this past person at the same time. You were focused on being loved, you know, and you were starting to think of someone new coming into the picture, but you were still feeling brokenhearted over this past person. So you had this person on your mind as well. And now they're both coming towards you, okay? Yeah, you're going to have a decision to make, collective. I feel like you're just choosing a new path. You want to move forward. Um, and you're a single person out here, ready for love. It's almost like you're saying, I'm ready for love. I'm, I'm moving on. I'm ready for, for new love. But yet at the same time, look, as you move forward through this portal, you're looking back. 
you're still looking back over your shoulder and so the thought of what you're leaving behind in the past is bringing this past person back in to apologize and try to get you back and they're in a lot of regret for pushing you away yeah they're in a lot of regret for pushing you away um right now collective i'm seeing you as being single beautiful successful intuitive free moving forward um abundant i mean you're doing awesome and in this energy like i said you don't need anyone you've learned the lessons from this last cycle you you're moving forward with confidence you could be a virgo cancer taurus aries maybe libra gemini aquarius your person could be a Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, and there's somebody all up in their emotions about this because they don't want to let you go. Um, they've been standing here like feeling fairly cowardly, okay? This person's been afraid to um, accept responsibility of the things they've done to you in the past. They see you out here as being the Empress in the Minor Arcana, somebody who could even be in the public eye, um, being seen by a lot of people, and they see you as being very strong, leaving the scene with this victory, right? They're, they're afraid. They're uh, intimidated by your energy, I feel. But man, they don't want to let you go. This person's like crying inside. They're crying. You know, this is this Five of Cups. That's like sadness, suffering a huge loss. And I feel like they know that somebody new is coming into the picture too because it's taken this person way too long. And you know what? They've been standing here with their back turned towards you um, for a long time. This is something you could have been going through for like up to three years, maybe nine, three to nine months, three to nine years. Feel like they needed to make a decision they needed to take some kind of action towards you and i feel like it that they know that um, they've been standing on this for so long acting a coward um, that you may not even feel the same way about them anymore and quite frankly collective i don't think you do i think they're right about that you know this person's put you through it you're a warrior here and this, the, this person from your past, they know that somebody new is coming in that's going to handle the situation much better than they did. This new person coming in is just going to choose you. They're only going to want you. If there's anybody else fighting for their attention in the background, they're going to ride right past everybody and just choose you. And you know what? That's what you deserve. You deserve somebody who's just for you who's focused on, on, on building a relationship with you. And it's making this person feel sick. I just heard feel sick. Um, they're, they're up all night. They can't eat, can't sleep, stressed out, a lot of anxiety. Um, because they don't even, they, you may not even feel the same way about them anymore. I mean, I feel like what this person showed you was that they can hurt you and not want to take accountability for it and that they're a coward you see this person maybe as a heartbreaker a player possibly a cheater and somebody who's been a coward i mean i i gotta say it it's this is it right here they have been carrying these burdens around with them forever but look now they're looking at justice this is what they get um yeah, this person from your past has fallen apart and they know you're about to get new love coming in. And you're about to have a decision because I feel like both these people are coming at you at the same time. All right, so what else can you show me here for the collective? But you manifested both of these people back in. Um, I feel like release, you know, uh, you're going to have to release one of them. I know that. You're going to have to make a decision and one's going to get cut out. Yeah, they want their Queen of Cups, the one who loves the best. 
the Queen of Cups, nobody loves like her. You know, um, and also, you're very spiritual. Look at the, this is the most decorated cup in the deck. My, everything's getting rubbed off of my deck now. It's so old. But um, this is the most ornate cup in the whole entire deck, okay? And that's because your spirituality is in that cup, too. It's like the Holy Grail. It's got everything in there, okay? Love, spirituality, your faith. Your intuition, everything you feel at a, in a deep soul level is in that cup. And nobody's going to love this person like you did. They're falling apart, this person from, yeah, because you're an earth angel. Look, and it's being made abundantly clear to this person. So you got divine feminine earth angel energy out here. I feel like it was kept hidden from them to see what kind of choice they were going to make. And this person chose the devil. They chose the devil. They broke the heart of an earth angel. And they never did anything to fix it because they were a coward. So now I feel like you're going to make this judgment call earth angel and leave this person out in the cold because of their manipulation. Yeah. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, or you could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Sagittarius. Your person could be a Capricorn, Cancer. And I feel like they're coming in really fast with communication, but they're, they're upset, they're angry. And I feel like they're angry with themselves because they gave to the wrong person, and they let you sit here empty-handed. They let you sit here and suffer, and they knew you were, they knew it was hard for you. They knew it was heartbreaking, and they did nothing. Now they're the ones who are suffering and upset and angry. I feel like they may even be blaming the person that they're with for how they feel, still not fully taking accountability for what they've done and their own choices. You know, wanting this new beginning, not wanting to confront the situation, carrying these burdens. They're, yeah, they're about to, I feel like if, if this person doesn't come forward, they're going to be carrying these burdens for the rest of their days. I got to say, you, you, you mess with an earth angel. Yeah, look, because I feel like this person, they walked away and mistreated the Ten of Cups. You are wish fulfillment. You are an earth angel. You are uh, the total package here, collective. They walked away from the big prize, a new beginning with you. They walked away from all of this. Yeah, they're going to be burdened because you're going to go on to have wish fulfillment. You know, you just need to make a decision of what it is that you want, right? Either way, I feel like you're going to get wish fulfillment. You're an earth angel and you're deserving of love. You've done your work and you're ready. It's your time now. It's your time to be happy. Yeah, so anyway, you are going to have, and you're going to have to, look, you're going to have a decision to make. I feel like this is your energy. You're going to have to decide, tell the truth, be honest, and make, a, you know, make your decision like a boss. This is boss energy holding up that sword because somebody is going to get cut out. It's either this new person that's coming in. You may have already met this new person or it's this person from your past. But you are going to make the decision like a boss, like a boss collective. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but that's your energy. So get ready because a decision needs to be made. But I got to say, you did manifest both people. Okay, so remember to clear your energy, you know, get grounded, clear your head, and continue to manifest the things in your life that you want in your life. Okay? Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe and you want to join this awesome soul tribe. 
And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.